Hi everyone, our journal page today and I'm using this uh, journal with craft paper and I want to use a, my stash of a painted a paper towels and also some book pages that again painty <laughs> book pages and I will demonstrate how to go about it. So paper towels, most of them are wipe out of excess paint but some of them were made intentionally and uh, basically what I have done is take a paper towel and this one is already uh, has some a uh, wipe on it and I'm using my uh, homemade sprays these are made from gel food coloring and water I only put a few drops with water and then check to see the intensity so uh, these paper towels are I'm just spraying them however <laughs> I feel like at the at the moment and it's quite random and like this so whatever you want to put on them Here we go. So, of course, let it dry. And uh, the paper towel has two plies. The uh, this one will be, as you can see, stronger. But you will also have a nice uh, a color on the back. And if you are putting it on, not on a, a towel, but something like a plastic bag, then you will get. A different look something more like this so if you want you can experiment and have all kinds of effects with it so I'm moving this aside to dry and just uh, going to show you about the book pages I've talked about again book page you can again spray it or you can use watered down acrylics whatever you have it and it's quite random just have fun with it so going to let this dry I'm just want to demonstrate that it can be achieved with a just plain acrylic paint so if you don't have any kind of sprays, then you can do it with acrylic paints. So let's take another page and let's put some paint here. So I've got some yellow and orange. Of course, use whatever colors you wish to do it, and some red. And the basic uh, thing about it is that you dilute it with water. So, a little bit of water. You can even spray your page so uh, the paint won't soak immediately in and you can move it around. And now I can play with it. You can also use watercolors. And if I feel it doesn't blend uh, enough, I can spray it more, add more water. And as I said, just playing and no rules to it. Let him some of it mix blend move just making painty papers out of book pages so that's that's the thing so you can do it with as i said the acrylic paint now i have excess paint here so it's going into my notebook of excess paint 
and I'm not even bothering to do anything special just smooshing it in and now I will have more painty paper to play with letting it dry of course moving this aside maybe <laughs> moving everything aside so I can start with the background and I'm going to do it with the paper towels and you can also use the backing of paper napkins I just decided to use this stash I have maybe I'm thinking about going no I'm going with these colors so I'm going to start with this and let's take some white glue and a brush now I want to I'm going to tear it apart and so I will have interesting pieces on my page glue and I'm not going for a um, straight lines I want it a little bit crooked and not and I'm not taking it to the edge of the paper I am using the straight lines of the paper towel because it's just easier but I'm not concerned about being straight or in line with the page I'm also going on top to make sure everything is adhered and smoothing it from the inside towards the outside so I won't have uh, air bubbles so this is quite random putting down pieces so I will have an interesting background and all I'm also going to overlap like so and I don't care about wrinkles, wrinkles are just adding to the texture and to the interest in the background so just having fun gluing pieces like so and I'm going to continue and come back when I'm finished with uh, gluing all the pieces and creating this background I'll be back I'm back so this is a uh, completely dry I want to go around this background and I'm using a permanent uh, marker uh, this is from the cheap store basically it's a uh, for CD DVD but whatever you have what and use that I'm going around my page and doing this zigzag uh, marking as if I've stitched uh, it uh, with the sewing machine <laughs> but it's just as you can see the marker if you've got a stamp uh, with the design of stitches it also can use it although this has a lot of texture so it's a little bit difficult to work with stamps on it so I'm just going around my page with this to make some kind of a very loose frame. As I said, I intentionally I didn't want straight lines. So this I'm just going with it. Very loose. not even not a uh, symmetrical just 
going with it. Very free. So I'm going to continue uh, all of this later. You got what I'm uh, trying to do and I want to uh, add some details to the background. So I'm going to take some of this yellow acrylic paint and I want some circles. I've got two uh, circle lids. Use whatever you have if, in, if it's uh, just a tippy roll. And again, the print won't be perfect because uh, uh, there is a lot of texture from the paper towels. But it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to add. Maybe I'll do like this. And let's try. Quite random and oopsie. Not that it really matters, but let's try yeah I managed to wipe it off so let's see here switching to the smaller one as I said quite random it just to add interest and color to the background. I think that this is enough. Yeah, okay. So background I just need to finish the uh, stitch line and now I want to move to the book pages and make flowers out of them and I'm going to show you uh, several ways to go about it I'm doing them quite a uh, freehand I'm moving this so it will um, dry You can do it, I'm doing it, as I said, freehand, just making some flowers like this. Another way is to do something like this. And if you are not uh, comfortable with a uh, drawing, you can take a stencil, put it on your uh, book page and trace the flower that you want. It doesn't have to be this flower it can be whatever flower you want of course after uh, you uh, fussy cut it from your book page like so another way if you have a stamp that you like you can take a stamp stamp it on your book page and then fussy cut it I didn't print so well, but you get what my drift. So basically, uh, several ways to make these uh, flowers for uh, this project. So I've got, I have already made some flowers. And the only thing that I did try to do is to make, to put them, to place them on my paper. So I will have variation of color and not a complete I won't put a flower here because it would be only yellow. I will put a flower in between uh, where I have variations in the color. They, they turn out more interesting this way. So that's basically it. Just picking a place. You can probably hear the rain. The winter finally decided to come here. And since yesterday, we are bombarded with rain and even hail. Okay, so I've got my flowers. I've got my background that is probably not <laughs> uh, dry yet. But I can at least finish this zigzag. 
marking and then I, I want to start play to play with the placement of my flowers and if you if you can see this one is a, you can hardly see the variation in the color but I can always come back and add some color or use another flower so now it's just playing with the placement of my flowers and I want some of them to get like a little bit out of the border that I've made I think it's more interesting that they will go out and then I need to glue them down so we'll see and of course the stems so I'm going to finish the zigzag uh, line I'm going to play with the placement of this all these uh, flowers and I'll come back I'm back so my uh, flowers are in place I want to draw a stem and I'm going to use a Posca pen this is an acrylic pen and again very loosely just I'll probably have to go over it so it would be more noticeable but basically this is it I think I will add some I've already cut them I didn't know if I will use them I think I will add some buds to this uh, thing just so I will have more well, something like that maybe one here And of course, each one will get a stem also. Maybe one here. We'll see. Something like that. Now, I wanted to show you what I have meant about if you are not satisfied with the color you have, then you can just go in if it's uh, with a uh, watercolor pencils, if it's a uh, gelatos, even the acrylic paint that you used before just dilute them with water so if i want to add a little bit here i'm using purple something that would be just a uh, darker than what i've got right now and here i can add red or orange whatever and just go over it with a paintbrush with a little bit of water to activate it something like this anything that is water based and can be added just so it would be more interesting something like that and also will blend with what we already have basically I think this is it I just need as I said to glue these buds and draw some uh, stems for them and I'm thinking how I can make the stems more uh, 
visible on the page. I think they are quite uh, disappearing into the background. We'll see. So I'm going to glue this down and I'll be back. I'm back. So the buds are glued in. I made a stem and decided to make uh, the stems more uh, pronounced on the page just to go with the same permanent marker because my flowers already have a line of black uh, marker so that's what I've done just added a black line to each stem and basically this is it I really like this page and the colors so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now